terms of Steve's head, you can see the effects of the fall Tuesday in practice. He talked to us earlier this afternoon about what went through his mind during that crash. We're taught when, when we first learned lifts, since the girl's a lot higher up in the air, to um, protect her at first and, and then try to protect herself second, since um, the girl has a lot farther to fall. And that's basically what I was thinking. I wanted her to be, be okay first, and then um, I tried to protect myself, but I <laughs> guess it didn't work too well. I don't think anyone can understand um, that, that he's my brother as well as my partner. We've been skating together for 14 years, but he's been my brother my whole life. And to see him in pain, it just killed me. And I couldn't do anything for him. Representing the Detroit Skating Club in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan, let's have a warm Boston welcome for Daniel Hartzell and Steve Hartzell. Translation is that he was doing everything he could to break her fall to reduce the impact. Out last year with the fractured knee that Danielle suffered. It's supposed to be a smooth comeback. It has been anything but, but here they go. Skating to the music of Takata and Fugue by Bach. And they open with this back outside death spiral. happened to this team now they must focus on the difficult side-by-side -side triple toe loops here they are how about that ah, good for them wow <laughs> what focus you can just feel this crowd really pulling for them they want them to do well and be safe but lifting's got to be a little bit scary but they are not holding back very nice. Not yet over the mental recuperation, recovery, call it what you will, of that fall last season. Danielle says she still thinks about it every time she goes up in the air. And as we know, in skating, that mental game is a real tough game. short program this the split double twist and one of the more difficult moves in pair skating coming up right here we'll end with the throw triple sow cow she'll rotate three times hoping to land backwards on one foot she does oh. what a triumph for them Good. and that nice held edge to this in position the oh, right. I'm so happy for them. A lot of courage in that performance. And this crowd well aware of what they have been through. Not only a figure skating crowd, but here in Boston since that fall, it has gotten a lot of coverage. The injury and the 14 stitches sustained by Steve Hartzell. Doesn't that tell a lot about the character that these two have? How close they are, how much trust they have in one another. Outstanding. And this is where they first tested their courage here tonight with the side-by-side -side triple toe loops. Very difficult. And they just nailed these. They were done so well. And the crowd really got with them at this point. And at the final move in their program, this throw, triple sow cow. Look at the good height she gets. Very much in control in this landing. And this nice held edge right to this ending position. It's so nice. 
just a bit out of breath <laughs> right now. Danielle and Steve Hartzell, Hartzell, and Steve Hartzell but, but these should be elements. very high marks. 5 .4, you can see how excited they are already. 5 .5, the first set, 5.4 5 .5, to 5.6. 5 5 well, you know, it, the marks are one thing, but what they have done is skated the first conditions. It just shows that they are totally trained and able to focus on any circumstance. 5 .5, you really never 5 .5, know how you're going to compete 5 .5, under the pressure after coming back off of something 6, like that. Presentation 5 .7, marks now 5.2 5 .6, and 5.7. I think they did 6, focus on this 5 .6, program and, and really gave it a lot of emotion and, and the audience really felt that. <laughs> terrific, <laughs> terrific way to open up the national championships.